Eyewitness News Nightwatch. A major fire rips through the historic grandstand of the New Orleans Fairgrounds. Seven alarm fire is burning at the New Orleans Fairgrounds. The grandstand is completely engulfed in flames and firefighters are trying to save the clubhouse. Hoda is on the scene, and let's go to her now. Hoda? John, this fire has been burning for a couple of hours since 8 o'clock. The good news is there was actually no racing going on, but the fire has just been burning through building after building after building for the past couple of hours. A lot of old wood here. The good news also, we understand nobody was hurt, and the animals are on the other side, so, so they're not in any jeopardy either. Uh, Bill Capo's been out here since, since, I guess, the beginning of this, talking to firefighters. What are they telling you? Hoda, a piece of New Orleans history is burning tonight. Firemen say this is a nightmare that they've had for years. Take a look at what's happening. Right now, it is still roaring out of control. A seven-alarm fire, and firemen say the blaze started in the jockey dressing room. But it spread rapidly, visibly consuming the building, moving 75 to 100 feet in just 45 minutes. The entire grandstand was destroyed in an amazing rate by flames roaring 50 feet and higher above the buildings. A repeated series of small explosions rocked the building's interior. Windows shattered, melt, metal walls buckled in the heat. Firemen set up on both sides of the blaze, in the parking lot and on the racetrack. But it was not a matter of putting the fire out or even bringing it under control. There was just a desperate losing battle they waged to keep it from spreading to the clubhouse <clears throat> at the end of the row of buildings. They knew they couldn't save the grandstand. The old historic building burned with a vengeance as the owners of the track watched in disbelief and tears. The problem firemen face is this is not just a series of old buildings, and firemen say only parts, including the clubhouse, have sprinkler systems. But what they worry about most is that all of the buildings are connected, allowing the fire to race down the line. If you look behind me, that is exactly what it's doing now. It is in the building right now, just next to the clubhouse. I talked to Fire Chief Warren McDaniel a few minutes ago, he said he can't say at all right now whether the clubhouse can mm -hmm. be saved or whether it, too, will burn. This is very much, Hoda, a situation still out of control, a seven-alarm fire mm -hmm. at, the at the New Orleans Fairgrounds. All right, Bill, thanks. And I think the thing that makes people the most sad is, as Bill said, this is actually a piece of history. Just walking around, you see the emotion on people's faces as they watch this building go up in flames. It all started in 1871, and today it looked like it was about to end. I'm just, I'm overcome, you know, when I think of the history here and everything, and it's just, it's going to be gone. It's all gone. And his whole life and his son's whole life and their family and everything is lost. Everything. If you couldn't feel the loss by looking at the flames, you only needed to look at the faces of those who helped build it. I don't think people that aren't racing fans realize that some people live their lives here. In fact, uh, there are a number of people that uh, have requested cremation and then uh, burial on the oval, uh, to have their ashes spread on the oval. And it's, it's a regular thing. And so this is going to touch a huge number of people uh, very deeply. And, uh, you know, we. It was like watching a piece of history go up and go away. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And New Orleans is losing a piece of history. I mean, really. Mm -hmm. It'd be like the French Quarter burning. This is this and is New Orleans. It's it's one of the high, most highly regarded tracks in the country. It's going away. These ladies were saying what so many do, that history is gone. It burned for hours and is still burning. These guys were inside when it all happened. I'm in an off-track bed in parlor. The security guards came in and said, there's a fire, everybody leave the building. We brought the money down to the money room, put it away, firemen came in and said, leave the building. We didn't know it was this bad until we walked out that door right there. We came out and saw flames coming out the windows right here. And that's it. And we didn't know it was like that. We just thought, you know, safety precaution, just walking out, you know. What do you think now? I think we're out of a job. Again, the fire still burning out of control, a seven alarm blaze. Uh, it looks like this is the grandstand obviously is the end. So if it burns all the way through, which it appears that it will, that's about as far as it's going to go. Again, firefighters still struggling to get this thing under control. John, back to you.
All right, thanks, Hoda Kotb. Uh, live, uh, if you're getting it in the middle of that, obviously a major fire tonight at the fairgrounds. The seven.